Hey guys, what's up? So I have one of the uh, Tacom HQ's Alpha Tarots. Basically you flip it up, shift your zero. This model should put me right on. All I have to do is flip this guy up, right? And now I aim at 400, I'm gonna get a hit, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna have to hold two and a half, three mils over. I'd have to use a holder. Now, as long as you can estimate distance, it should work just fine. First shot right out of the hole, I saw, man, it was like inches off that little B zone seal. That would've been a hit on a human sized target. So let's flip it out, try it on a uh, on a magnified optic. So it's got a quick detach mount system. Pull it off, slap it on another gun. So I mounted it on a little 10 inch gun. Yeah, man, it definitely works. When I first saw this thing, I just looked at it. It was mounted on somebody's gun. I just messed with it. Uh, and I was a little concerned that it was might be fragile. But when I, as soon as I took it out of the box, I realized that it is actually built very sturdy. You know, I feel like, you know, I might be able to break it if I was running around when it flipped up all the time. But in its lowered position, man, that's going to be a hard piece of equipment to to uh, damage, but it, it would take a hell of an impact to uh, to bust this guy up. Nothing I'm ever gonna um, drop my gun. I'd be more worried about breaking my dot or uh, my magnified optic than this guy. So there it is. So no doubt, man, it does exactly what they say it does. Hey, what's up guys? So I have here uh, Take on HQ's Tarek. For you guys that don't know or don't understand exactly what's going on, but it, does is when you flip it up put it in front of your optic it shifts to zero by simply refracting light so if like in my case i run a 100 meter zero if you run a 50 200 whatever um it refracts the light or simply shifts my zero up so now i'm dead on at about 420 in my case 400 to 500 i'm going to hit a you know human torso but when i first Got it. And they first asked me, you know, we're, we're talking about it. Um, I was like, you know, I, I just don't, I don't see how it's going to help me. So I know my holes. And if I'm shooting a magnified optic with, you know, an a MRAD Christmas tree style reticle, I, I know my holdovers at a varying distance. I mean, I just know them in my head. I know exactly how many mils. And if I'm shooting, you know, for some, for whatever reason, I'm messing around with, with you know, a magnifier or a regular red dot, then, you know, I still know my holdovers in, like, I I see mills, right? I, I measure, I can tell you measurements at distance in mills, or I can transform over to feet, inches, whatever. So if I'm like, hey, at 400, you know, I'll, you know, hold over 15 inches, 18 inches, whatever, you know, hold a foot over its head. Uh, foot over its shoulders, you know, I can give those calls. So in my head, I was like, man, I, I just don't see how, you know, this is going to be some advantage, right? It's it's not, it doesn't help me determine range. It There's no measurement. There's no reticle in it. You know, it's just going to change where now I just aim at the target and shoot at it. If it's, you know, 400 to 500 meters, then I should get my hits. And I was like, eh, well, I can already do that because I already know my holdovers. And uh, so I went out and shot it. You know, you saw the vid. I put it on different, uh, different guns with different optics. And I was like, yeah, okay, well, this is nifty. I still don't see how it can fit into my arsenal. And then I was like, wait a minute. Let me see what I can, what I can get away with, with it, you know? Well, when I flipped it up, I shot from 300 to 500 with it. And when I was doing that, I, I didn't realize it, but I wasn't videotaping. So I don't have that on it. But point being, it wasn't just for four or 420 meters. It was really easy. So if I had, say, like a, a platoon of infantry or, or even a, a team of soft dudes who are not, you know, experienced snipers who just understand and see mills, then I'm like, wait a minute. Basically, hey, it's easy to figure out if something's past 300 and just flip this up and start shooting. And, you know, as a precision guy, that's where I was kind of confusing myself with this. In precision shooting, I'm thinking, you know, precise, dead nuts on shots. And that's that's not what this does. It's not what this an, a system or even a carbine does at those ranges. It's not a, a precision gun. Um, I mean, you're starting to push into its limits. You know, that's a battle rifle. 
So it definitely fits. It makes sense. It's like, okay, hey, I can literally give this to anyone and say, hey, man, after about three football fields away, you can flip it up and just get back to shooting. No holds, no thinking, just shooting. Really simple. So, like I said, man, when I first got it, I was like, mm, I don't know, kind of gimmicky. Seems like a, you know, a, a solution to a problem that never existed for me. Um, and like I said, man, I, I don't want to sound like some long-range snob, but that's that's just you know where I'm at in life, having done it for a long time. That I, I just don't think like that. And I was like, wait a minute, man. If I did have this on my gun, whether it's magnified optic or not, dude, I can just keep life really simple. Pop it up, get to work. Uh, no thinking involved, like three to 500 meters. So it actually started making way more sense with a magnified object because let's face it, man, with just a red dot, five, you know, shit, 400 meters, 500 meters, most people can't see good enough to engage targets that far with just a red dot. Throw a magnifier on, you get a little bit better. You know, I know a lot of people like magnified, magnified optics or whatever, the, the magnifier for the red dot. Whatever, man. I get it on a flat range, you know, with contrast start, you, you like it. So if that's all the shooting you do, then you might really appreciate this guy. But for no shit combat units, you know, infantry, um, you know, whatever, man. If right now you said, hey, you're Tony, you're a first sergeant of whatever infantry company, dude, I would try to procure these for all my M4 toters. That's, that's really how kind of cool this is, man. It can take an a, a dude who knows nothing and you say, Hey man, at three football fields, just get to work. So yeah, like I said, man, super simple. I really, really dig it. Um, they make a similar setup for long range guns or whatever that adds mills, uh, a determined amount of mills to your long range object. I want to check that out. There's definitely onto something here. Kind of cool.